Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making Easter bread. Come and see, check it out. Welcome to my kitchen. And today we're doing Easter bread. We call it Pumchina. And I don't know how you guys do it. You can drop it down in the comments below. I would love to read your comments how you pronounce your sweet bread in Macedonian. And if you put a photo on there, that'll be marvelous. Let's do this. All right, guys, the first order of business is the proofing. We got one package of dry yeast, we got half a tablespoon of sugar, and we got four ounces of lukewarm water. All right guys, let's pour the mix in. We get our one package of yeast in, we get our half a tablespoon of sugar into the mix, and now let's do some whiskey business. Make that in nicely. Not too much. There. Okay. It's time to mix. Have all the ingredients here right in front. If all of you want the exact measurements, go down my description box below. I'll have the exact measurements for you there. Let's do this. Mix. Well, the yeast has proved very marvelous. We'll throw that into the mixing bowl. There it is. Get some of this. Okay. Two large eggs from our hands. They're really marvelous. In they go. And water also. No spillage. Oops. There, that there, the oil, there, and our orange freshly squeezed. All right, pink Himalayan salt. All right, that goes there. And then the sugar also then and then the almond extract, no the vanilla, and then the almond extract goes in and then one Zest of lemon. Then, oh, I gotta get a. There. Get almost. That's it. And one orange zest. In. Okay. The final ingredient is the flour. Let's add that, shall we? Oops. 
dilatin. All the ingredients are in. Let's lift the bowl. There, it's locked into place. And let's mix. All right, the machine did its thing. It mixed for a while. I needed the dough to make it nice and round. The bowl is oil, and now we're going to transfer the kneaded dough just for a little bit. And now we do the cross. It's tradition we always make that cross at our dough. And now we get some saran wrap. There, get that. Put it over like so, cover it for a while. Take a towel. Now we let that rest for about an hour or so. While we wait, we hydrate. Be back in a while guys. Two hours later. Alrighty, the door has risen. It took some time. And I made some previously how the dough looks like it the poopchinas, the sweet rolls. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. Here, got this. That there. And I'll show you the way we make the uh, pupuchina. Roll it out between our hands. And then the, once you get the length that you like, tie it into a knot, like so. And voila, pupuchina. And we make another one. Unrolling rolling it, I always like to flip mine around so the weight just drops down. Once you roll it, like so, and do this one. Like so, and tie it into a knot. Voila, done. Ready, I'm gonna finish off the dough, the remaining of the pupchina, I'm gonna leave them aside so they can continue the rise and uh, come back within a while and I'll uh, show you what is the final preparations to make the pupchina before I put them in the oven. See you guys shortly. All right, this is the final stage. The Pupchina sweet bread rolls, they risen nicely. We got one egg and a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna mix together and glaze the entire Pupchina. And then after that is done, sprinkle some sesame seeds on them to look nice. All right, let's do it. Combine the sugar and the egg, get our nice little whisk, we'll whisk it up, Ooh, lovely, there, make sure it's all good. I said it's just about good, okay. Put this in the sink. Okay. 
Okay, get her brush. Now you gotta brush them delicately so they don't deflate, flatten. Every nook and cranny. Alrighty, I finished egg washing both uh, pans and I've sprinkled on this one and half and this one and I'll show you, I, I find that with this it's easier to sprinkle. And let's do the final ones that are unsprinkled. There, done. So I'll put them in the oven at 350 until they're golden brown and that's how you make pooch now. All right, this is our final product. See how nice and golden brown the sweet bread is for Easter? And break it apart. The fluffiness. Oh, so good. Thank you for watching, and I'll send you another video as soon as I can. Happy Easter.